Hi, welcome again. Now, today we are, we are going to see how to import uh, survey data or UTM data in, in Excel to Epanet. Okay, so unlike other software like uh, Quota Gems where you don't need to convert anything, you, you just take your data in Excel and import directly to the software, in Epanet it's a bit different. Okay, so there is certain process that you need to go through. There are some third-party software that you need to use so as you can be able to convert uh, your data and make sure that your data are, co are compatible with Epanet. Now, so that being said, I'll see you in the next part of the video. So, let's get started. Now, before we start, we have like four uh, requirements. So, requirement number one, of course, you need to have your data that you want to import into Epanet and comment number two actually you need to have Epanet itself so if you do, if you don't have just go and google Epanet you will have it download and install in your laptop or pc then at comment number two actually is Epacad okay so if you don't have it again this is why and this is open source software just go and google Epacad download it and install in your pc or laptop and so that being said, let's go straight to our data. So as you can see here, I have my data. Let me open it. So this is my data. I have X, Y, and Z, which is altitude. And then I have description here. So I need to arrange my data to make sure that it is in point number, uh, point number, uh, no things, things elevation and the description so from here i have a point number here point number let's say number then just one two and drop all the way then we have z this why is supposed to stay here uh, remember is um no things is things no things is things elevation and the description that's the, uh, that's very important so this is the format that we need our data to stay description here of course boa hole it can be tank it can be anything okay so p n e z d so this is the format that we need to work on so from here just delete the title make sure that you don't have it after that we want to save this data into csv of course you can save it into csv or you can save it into .txt it's really up to you for me i'm going to save it at, as a csv so save as uh, from here uh, my folder i'll choose my folder so for me this is my folder i'll just name it of course data too so format here just go and select um csv comma delimited uh, comma delimited csv uh, yeah, this one command limited. So after here, just click save. Okay, just click save. Then, of course, no, of course, yeah, no, 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 don't save. So my data now is already saved into my folder. So this one, data2.csv, I'm done. So the next step actually is go and open your AutoCAD. Okay, open your AutoCAD. After opening your AutoCAD, make sure you are you you are working with uh, Civil 3D. That's very important. So my uh, my AutoCAD is ready, opened here. Of course, as a, as I said, make sure it is in Civil 3D. Just select here Civil 3D. After that, you just go home and select points. Okay, select point. This is very important again. So from points, select point creation tools. Now from here, then click um, import this icon here. So it will, this pop-up window will, will appear. Just, cre just click here, this cross, add files. Then go to your folder, which uh, you saved your data, where you saved your data. Just select data that you saved. Of course, it can be in .txt. Just select here, just select all. Select all, so as you can see all your files, or you can just select .csv or .txt that's really up to you so for me i'll select my my data click open okay we have a problem so
So after inserting your uh, points, then what next is to make sure that you select this uh, this format here, PNZ, yeah, this one. So if you select this, you see, as you can see here, you don't have description. Just select PNZ, okay. So you can see here point number, is things, no things, point elevation, and the row description. Okay, so that being said, just click. Yeah, of course you can tick this, then click OK. okay so wait, you are data to insert. Okay, so you can we can just close this. After that, just click here. Uh, zoom to extend okay so this is your data just click zoom extend so this is your this is our data as you can see here we have just points okay points you can see points points point point so what we need to do here is to link at this at these points with a line with a line so what we are going to do here so the total number of my coordinates is, is how many? So the first thing that, so the next thing that you need to do is to make sure that you know the total number of your of your data so for me i have 237 uh, points so from here what we need to do is to select uh, select this uh, this uh, this line here select line then from line select correct a uh, create line by uh, point create line by point range so just so yes, select so your range it's one up to 237 so for you it, it can be 1 to 10, 1 to 5, 1 to 1000, it's been for, it depends on how many points you have. So for me it's 137, then just click it, okay. So, okay, so line here is be drawn, wait a bit. So done. So that being said, let me clean my data. You can see this line here. It's not just click. We need to remove this line here. So for me, just remove it. So after, up to now, you can see our our coordinates or our points are linked, are very well linked with, the, with this pole line here. Okay, with this line. So. After, after this step, what we need to do is to save as DXF. So go here, click save, then save as. Then save as, select format here, DXF. So for me, I'll choose here DXF. Remember, you need to even take into consideration the AutoCAD that you are using. Okay, so for me, I'll go with 2018. My folder location, of course, it is in desktop. Desktop uh, tutorial, uh, tutorial. So from here, I'll just name it. Let's say um, pipeline. Uh, pipeline, pipeline file. Save. Just give it a name that you prefer and save it within a, 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 a within a directory that you want. So for me, I'll just choose this name here and click save. Okay, open my folder. So it is this one, pipeline.dxf. So the next step that we are going to do is of course to open Epacad. So until this step, I'm sure that you installed it, you installed it already. If you haven't, just Google Epacad download. It will just give you a link. So from here, we'll just uh, go and click open. Okay, so open. I'll go direct to my po to my folder. It is in, of course, tutorial my folder. You can see here we we have pipeline file. 
Okay, so depends on how you name it. So for me, I named it this way. Just click OK. Just click Open. So here you will have uh, several layers. So for me, it is in layer zero. Then click, click here next. So after that, click Finish. It's simple as that. Just click Finish. And then choose your file location. So for me, I'll just save it in the same file, in the same uh, folder. I'll name it um, Pipeline. Of course, Pipeline. Yes, WS, Water Supply. File, uh, a file format, remember, .inp. That's very important. Just save it .inp. Then click Save. File generated successful. Done. Okay. So if I go to my folder, I will have this file, the DXA file and the .inp. So this is the file format that is going to work with Epanet. So what next now is to open my Epanet, Epanet software, Epanet, Epanet. Just go and the Epanet. Sorry, Epanet, Epanet. Just open it. And I. And again, if you don't have it, just go and Google, then install. So from here, I'll just click File, imp no, Import, then Import Network. I'll, I'll go to my folder location. Of, of course, this is my folder. Just go to your folder location, then click the file. Remember, .inp. So this is the extension or file format that is work that works with open it then click open so that's it we are done we are done we are done we are done yeah so so from here you can just take it from here then start your own uh, design you can start modeling your water network as the, you prefer so that being said thanks for watching and hopefully i'll catch you in the next uh, video Thank you.